Aldo Gallimore, branding coach, graphic designer, and creative director of Gallimore Design. And what we're going to talk about today, what I'm going to talk to you about today, and I'll have you talk back at me of what you know and how you feel about brand new, brand not, and with brand known. Okay. So, brand new, brand not, and brand known. And I'll show you, first of all, this. this is my, so we'll have a reference later, this is my logo and my branding. This gives you a sense of what my image looks like. But going forward, one of the things we'll talk about is that what branding is, is a relationship that you build with your customers. A relationship that you build with your customers for your products, services, and your image, whether it's public or private. What you're doing is, through that relationship, you're sending messages, you're getting uh, a dialogue involved, and corporations use it, teams, government agencies, everybody use branding as a means of communication, of relationship, values, properties, it's all part of that dialogue that you're doing. Those of you who were at the luncheon, you saw packages in front of the auditorium and you saw how energetic and how commanding some of those packages were. Well, okay, years ago they weren't that dynamic. But as as technology improved and as social science improved, so has the design of all the symbols and nuances of uh, a brand has become more sophisticated and more reachable to you. So in some ways it's talking a brand design is talking to you in a way that's almost subliminal. So there's a lot of a lot going on there. So again, it's having a brand is having influence, it's having a dialogue with you. And it's meant to a brand is meant to influence you and uh, have a command over your mind in some kind of way for mem for, for memory. And it's about getting the tool part of a call call to action and represents the represents your experience, represents the property of what you're trying to convey. Again, a brand is not just a logo, it is a total personality of what you do. It's not just the first thing people see, it's how you build a culture behind your brand. Um, and we'll take a we'll take banks for instance. Banks, every I think every creating a friendly, stable image to make you feel good about keeping your money there. Of course, it's important for that bank to get across that your your money's safe, the transaction's safe. And since a lot of transactions now are online, a bank wants to have its brand fresh, friendly and uh, believable and trust for else. Some not so pleasant. That is the communication power of a brand. To make you feel an emotion, an emotion of a need or fun or, one, uh, or comfort or believability or dependence, whatever, that, that's part of it. So, again, it's a mark, it's a, a typography builds a relationship. Typically, a mark is just a symbol as a logo. It could be a picture of an individual. It could be a stylized picture of an individual, a stylized picture of a symbol with properties that speak of your company, your personality, a company's personality, a company's value. If there, for instance, if there are stars involved in the logo, it could be patriotic, it could be very uh, dramatic. There are different symbols that designers put into a logo that says something about the values of that of that uh, individual, that company. For instance, PDA's logo, BDPA logo. When it's in color, it's red, black, and green, right? Or green, black, and red. Now, in black and white, you might not know that, but we get the property at a glance of what BDPA stands for. 
that's the power of logo, a logo is to communicate those values and that culture. That's, uh, that's one thing. Branding a style. There's nothing like seeing your name in a text, a style, to make to say, that's not me. Or either that is me, or I like that. Some people will look at this and say, oh yeah, I'm 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 Madeline Madeline Gelato, she's she's a floral designer and that's what she likes because she um, she sells to uh, a group that and she wants to she wants her customers to feel like they're getting the best in quality and that the um, let's say she's a wedding planner and she wants everybody to feel like they had a grand elegant uh, event and that's how she sees her her style. Craig, what you'll see in in what you see in um, social media branding is always a little as an icon, as well as a typography. And um, I'll let you answer. Why do you think that's done? Why do you think they would do a, a, a little icon and, and typography? Why? Well, it's easy. Easier to group an icon with other icons when you don't have space. And if you're moving through pages fast, you can see this for a second, or this for a second, and you'll know that it's Twitter, it's it's LinkedIn, and uh, the F for Facebook. You, you'll know that's Facebook. That's why you'll see some pages you go on; they're all stacked together. You have Twitter, LinkedIn. Um, yeah, Facebook, and there's, a, there's another one. Uh, I've seen, have anybody seen the little Google logo? It's with the G, and it's all different color letters. Mm -hmm. Well, you'll see that, and it's meant to catch your eye and tell you what it is instantly, and you can mouse over it, and it's made to, made to fit anywhere on anybody's 